Team of the year was yesterday and the goalkeeper and defenders were released into packs. We had Team of the year Neuer, Team of the year Danny Alves, Team of the year Boateng, no, no, no Boateng, Team of the year PK, no, no PK, okay, this is awkward, Ramos, Thiago Silva, and last but no means least, and it is Marcelo. I decided to pick up Team of the year Danny Alves, and as you know, when you always see the stats on Danny Alves, you have that temptation to play him up front, and that is not what I did until halfway through the review i saw his goal scoring ability and just the technique on the ball i did i did sub him up striker so if you enjoy uh, drop a like on the video and if you want me to do any more uh, team of the year defender reviews because what i'm doing is waiting for the midfielders i can't wait to get my hands on moderate i was surprised he got in but i love his card iniesta and also paul pogba so yeah I'm, I'm i'm hyped for that and if you guys are needing ultimate team coins to afford any of these players make sure to check out viva ultimate team links below in the description you Use the code Fuji for a 15% off, or if you are wishing to actually purchase games, you can head over to G2A for that. All right, let's have a look at the team which I played him in. Let's go. So I bought him last night for 620,000 coins or around there, and then I sold him for a 100k loss. The good thing about that, not losing coins, but the good thing is that these team of the year players are now affordable. Finder, they are still expensive, but not like we've seen on previous FIFAs where they're going for 1 million, 2 million coins. So yeah, I hope that you guys can get your hands on them at least try them out. I was a little shocked with who got in the team of the year. Not so much the attackers, but just the mid and the defense. But still, team of the year, Danny Alves, I think he deserved it, and I really wanted to try him out. So the team was a five at the back formation. I think it's best suited for him, really, because he will push up, and seeing as Varane is quite pacey anyway, he can sort of drift wide in that right back position if and when, when I should say, when Danny Alves pushes up. At times, I was subbing him at striker halfway through the game, and then bringing on, well, moving Griezmann to the right wing back position, and then subbing on Gaia, but I, I was just loving Danny Alves, man. We need to check out his in-game stats as soon as possible. Let's go. So I played 10 games, scoring four goals, which realistically is actually pretty good for a right back, that ratio, until you find out I scored a hat-trick in one of the games, so it doesn't seem as good. But two assists as well. Match rating-wise, it's pretty hard to get him uh, well, hitting the high nines when he's playing right wing back, unless you get a lot of assists or just make some great challenges. And when you pay, well, 400, 500,000 500, however much he's going for right now you really just want to get him on the ball and then start dribbling with him he's a fun player to use no doubt about that let's have a look at his card though 93 pace 80 short 88 passing 91 dribbling 90 defense and 82 physical and we need to check out we, we need to question what are these 99s? He's got aggression 99, short power 99, slide tackle 99. His curve is dribbling. Everything about this card just seems like an absolute monster. His aggression is one thing that really does catch your eye when you use him. All the 50-50s he seems to win. Yes, he isn't the strongest, but when you've got 99 aggression, it's going to help you out. His interceptions are superb, and that's what I found. Playing him in that striker position, if your uh, opponent makes sort of a little mistake, he's going to latch onto that ball, and he's through on goal, and he's going to try and score with that 68 finishing. But I didn't think it affected him too much, and with the three-star skills as well, that's what most strikers have on an ultimate team anyway. And it's irrelevant with the four-star skills because you just got the no-touch dribbling, get that burst of acceleration. So anyway, let's get into the clips. I'm going to show you the goals that I scored, the misses, the crosses, everything about this card. Let's get into it. So if you're even thinking about purchasing a team of the year defender, that could suggest two things. First of all, you're loaded on FIFA and you don't care too much about coins or option B, you have sold your whole team to a forward team leader, Danny Alves. And at, at this time, it could sound a little silly, but I think it's worth it. I think he actually is worth it just because I haven't experienced anybody like this yet where you're pretty much playing a winger in a right wing back position and Danny Alves just possesses so much quality. He's got good ball control. He's got good curve. His tackling, his slide tackles, his aggression, his strength on the ball. Yes, it's not the best, but his aggression helps him out and he is just an absolute monster. And when I was playing him in the right wing back position when you, when I did the one two and pass it down the line the pace the blistering pace came into play with the aggression and not many people could pull him back even when it was a 50 50 he managed to get the edge and with his like tight ball control his great dribbling his touches like he can maneuver his way around defenders at ease and it is pretty much playing with someone like an Insigne and Insigne I absolutely loved for his uh, sort of no touch dribbling and that is what Danny Alves can offer you and also free kick Look at that. It shows you the curve, the swerve, just the shot power, the power free kicks. Danny Alves 
it is just amazing and that's a big tick like if you want to score free kicks purchase yourself Danny Alves and put him on it and more often than not it's gonna go in but one thing I was really impressed with when playing him in the striker position was his link up play and how he can commit defenders like it's not not usually when you're bringing in a right back that can do this but how he has the ability just to run at your opponent's defense and they literally need to bring him down otherwise if they don't he's so quick on the ball you just don't know which direction he's going to turn and his passing is pretty good like through ball wise it could be better but definitely you've got to keep in mind you are still using a right back and he is playing he basically is like a playmaker he's a playmaker he's a defender he could be a finisher if you shoot it across goal and that's one thing i always like stress shoot it across goal with the card because that is what's overpowered on fifa 16 and when you have someone that hasn't got the best of finishing like stat wise yeah it's just the best way to go to shoot it across goal and i had so much fun with danny alves would definitely purchase him again the only reason why I sold him is because I wanted to sort of regroup and get my coins together so I could afford maybe Marcelo or any other players you want me to test out. But playing him as a striker, it does work and I would kind of suggest it. But if you are wanting to purchase Danny Alves, bring him into that right wing back position. Get those balls whipped into the box because his crossing is just disgustingly good as well. What a player. He's got pretty much everything. Love him. And hey guys, if you want to see any other defenders, drop it in the comments and I'll see you on the next video. Team out. Peace.